Hello everybody, Mr. Mobs here. Welcome back to the channel. So today I just wanted to do a quick video um, on virtual desktop. It's something that I've wanted to do for quite a while, um, although this isn't quite the video um, that I've got planned. Um, I do want to do like a run through, a full run through of virtual desktop and all the different features. Um, but today I just want to cover one particular feature, which is um, just being released in the beta. And that is the uh, multi monitor view, as you can see here. So um, I'm sat at my PC at the moment. Um, so I guess it's a bit of a pointless task in a way, but I'm sat at my PC. I've got three monitors mirroring the setup that I actually have in real life or very similar. Um, and yeah, so they've added the function to have multiple monitors. Now, I think for the Quest 3, you're allowed up to three for the Quest 2, two, and for the Quest 1 just the one um i should imagine i don't know what that's to do with to be honest processor power maybe i'm not too sure what the decision making behind that one is um perhaps you could ask on their discord but anyway as you can see here i'm sat in my office i've got three monitors it's great um i wouldn't particularly use this in my office um no point when i've got monitors in front of me um but i can see a use for it maybe if you're on a laptop or something like that um that might be quite good so if you're in another room or if i was in another room in my house i could have three monitors um i wouldn't use it for work as you can see here i've got a uh, ebay page up um my own um youtube channel and then just the oculus uh, or meta as it's called now uh, meta games library um so yeah anyway obviously this is fully functional as you'd expect now the nice thing with this as you can see i've got it in uh mixed reality mode so i'm you sit in my office i think you should be able to see that um and in front of me i've got my keyboard now it's not a uh a meta keyboard it's not well one that's compatible with the um with the quest but because it's plugged into my pc um i can actually obviously use it to type so if i go up uh, here for example i don't know why i'm using these you can even use your, your your mouse but there you go uh type search clothing there we go clothing rail I can search for clothing rail um so anyway you get the point so i can view my keyboard with the quest 3 the pass through is now good enough um that you can type and be able to see your keyboard which is great um so this takes very little setup so when you start up um you can add the monitors in or i, th I think they were already added because i've got three monitors i've they were already added you can manipulate them you can make them bigger or smaller um i've got an ultra wide monitor so this one's pretty much the center one's pretty much the size of my monitor these two side ones are slightly bigger than the ones i've got in real life um just so it makes the text more readable um and that's the joys i guess is you can um move them you can independently adjust each monitor using these settings up here so transparency portrait mode uh, so you can rotate them around obviously the height distance curve and size um so yeah you know it's, it's quite functional um you know there's um you can do like i say everything you could do on a pc you can do on this um like i say if you're you got a laptop that's probably where i see it being used the one thing i will say i do really like my quest 3 it does get quite hot um i couldn't imagine sitting here and working um using a quest 3 just because of the heat mainly um the vision the, like, the visual quality is good enough i think to probably work in but um the heat that this thing generates after a while uh, having this sat on my face um i think i'd probably prefer to go for something like a big screen beyond or something like that if i was um to be doing this um so yeah anyway this will let me just pause that for a minute this um is virtual desktop so it's compatible with the likes of pico and other headsets um, I'm not sure whether this update 
is just available for the quest it's something i should have a look at um, i will post a link to the official discord for virtual desktop they're a very friendly bunch there um so any questions you have you can go to those guys i'm sure they'll be able to help out um hopefully this quality of this video is okay i'm recording it directly on the headset um so it might not be quite as good quality as some of the other videos i do but i just wanted to give you a little sneak peek um like i said it's the beta update so it's not available to everyone at the moment you have to go through well it is available to everyone but you have to get the link from virtual Des desktop discord um to install it manually it won't just install for you um so if you're interested in that then check out the announcements channel in discord um otherwise i'm sure they'll roll it out as a general update to everyone soon um but yeah really cool little feature i thought it was worth a little video by itself i will do a full-on virtual desktop uh, beginner's guide how to set up and use in the various settings i'll do that at some point um just want to say thank you to everyone who has recently um subscribe to the channel as you see here we're on 440 uh, subscribers looking to get to 500 subscribers so if you're watching and you haven't subscribed please hit that subscribe button i uh, will appreciate i will appreciate that and help out the channel a lot um and yeah i hope you enjoyed the video and more to be coming soon thank you